a meter at a minimum, actually. And you know what? We have in Ontario a bit of an education gap, I like to call it. We really stopped pe telling people uh, when they're behind the wheel how to interact with cyclists a long time ago. In fact, it's, I don't think it's ever been as complete as it should be. And with the burgeoning fact of cycling, more and more cyclists wanting to ride for fun, for recreation, uh, because it's cheap and, and uh, makes you feel great. And we really need to keep up pace, and we haven't. Um, and so having an education tool like this video that's fun and educational and really has that visual reminder of the one meter is, is absolutely terrific. In reality, the more space, the better. I think it's important to remember that most motorists are actually courteous and safe. However, um, that said, we still have uh, collisions and we still have accidents. So anytime we can use a video um, uh, messages in the press, um, reminders of how important it is to leave space for one another, the better it is. Cyclists are uniquely vulnerable because they don't have 10,000 pounds of steel around them. And for a lot of people who haven't been on their bikes for a while, I think they need reminding um, that when you're on a bike and you're vulnerable and a car passes you and that car is too close, um, you know, there's a drag factor because cars are going faster than we are. And when on a windy day, we're, you know, cyclists are on a, a carbon fiber bike perhaps that weighs, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30 pounds, and you're up against a vehicle of tremendous power.